BookBolt is a great software solution where you can quickly create low content books that you can sell on Amazon. And in this video, I'm going to walk through a new feature that BookBolt has. It's called the AI Story Generator. It's inside of BookBolt Studio right here. I'm going to show you exactly how it works. This is a walkthrough for complete beginners. Let's jump in. If you're new to BookBolt, if you've never heard of BookBolt before, I'll do a very, very quick walkthrough here on what this is. BookBolt really has two features. The first one is a niche research tool. So you can see here on the left-hand side, I've got a keyword search option. I've got movers and shakers. I've got evergreen books that sell over time. This is a great tool if you're interested in niche research. Amazon's an extremely competitive marketplace, and so you want to make sure that you're selling books inside of niches where people are actually looking for these books and actually making sales. Here we can see one Cozy Friends coloring book for adults, and we can see that this has about 865 sales at a $10 price point. So this is a great way to brainstorm different book ideas and sell things that people are actually looking for. In addition to the niche research, there's a tool called BookBolt Studio. And inside of BookBolt Studio, you can create your own books using templates. So here, for example, I have my cover template set up. I've got a whole bunch of pages down the left-hand side, and I could fill those pages with a template. So for example, here on page six, I can click on the templates button, and I have all these different predefined templates that I could insert into my book. But we're not gonna be making a book like that. We're gonna be using AI artificial intelligence in this video. So what I'm gonna do here is go up to the top left. I'm gonna to go to project, new project. And then from here, I have an option to create either a low content book like we've done before, if you've seen any of my other book bolt videos, or in this case, I'm gonna click on AI story generator. I'm gonna type in my project name, which is gonna be called Smiley Cat. And my trim size, I'm gonna make this a storybook. So I'm gonna make it nice and big, eight and a half by 11, for example. Now in the interior, I'm gonna say premium color with white paper. I'd like to make a color children's storybook. From here, I've got a bleed option or a no bleed option. That's just my borders around my book. And I'm gonna leave it on bleed. And for a page count, I'm gonna leave it at 24 and I'm going to click create project. Now from here, I'm gonna see what we call a breadcrumb trail. So this is here at the top. We'll see story parameters, character appearance. We're gonna move through each of these steps and we're gonna add ultimately this to the project. So for my story name, I'm gonna call this Smiley Cat. I'm gonna leave it at 24 pages. The layout, you've got a few different options here. You can do full page illustration or illustration and text on separate pages. I'm gonna have the illustration above and the text below. I've got a language option as well. An age range for my story my story template, which is either a bedtime story or a moral story, I'm gonna make mine fairy tale. My character trait, I'm gonna have him be smart. And my moral lesson, I'm going to have self-confidence. And now for an additional prompt, I'm gonna say, I've written cat buys a race car and drives it through a magical kingdom. And now I'm going to click continue. Okay, now from here, I'm in the second part of the breadcrumb trail. I'm now in character appearance. So I've got my character type. I'm gonna put him as an animal and I'm gonna change my animal to a cat. He's gonna be a male cat, and I'm gonna change him to be a gray cat. Eye color's green. An additional prompt, I'm going to say race car driver. My character name is going to be Smiley, and for my style, I'm gonna change the style here. I could do watercolor, cartoon, acrylic, and 3D animation. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave it here at watercolor. All right, so I've got all of my character traits set up, and now I'm gonna click generate character. Okay, and here's what my character is going to look like. He looks great. And if I'm happy with that, I'm just going to go to generate content. If I'm not happy with that, I can regenerate my character. But I'm happy with the way this looks. I'm going to click generate content. And now let's see what the AI will come up with for a storybook. All right, and the AI has come up with 24 pages of text. Here on page one, we can see once upon a time in a sunny meadow, Smiley found a sparkling race car for sale. It gleamed beautifully. Now this is AI, so I would recommend that you review all 24 pages and make sure that the text is to your liking. If you don't like something, you can edit the text just by clicking right here. Now you can also generate individual illustrations for each page. You can click on the generate illustration button right here. I am going to click on the generate 24 illustrations button right down at the bottom and it's just gonna completely populate my book with 24 different illustrations. So just like that, now the AI is going to start generating 24 illustrations for my book. I do wanna point out as you're doing this, you wanna make sure to keep an eye on the credits here. You can see I've got 816 credits remaining up at the top. And of course you can always buy more credits. And very quickly we can see here the AI has created some pretty good looking illustrations for my book. We can see here on page one, we've got Smiley in his race car. As I scroll on down, here's the image for page number two. 
and here's image three and so on all the way down. What I like about this is the AI is smart enough. It looks like it's generating very consistent looking images. The race car looks the same. The cat looks the same. Now it's not identical. So like I say, if you don't like something, you may need to regenerate the image using the AI tool. You can click on regenerate illustration right here. All right, it took a couple minutes, but I've got all 24 illustrations set up. And from here, I'm going to click on continue to pages. Okay, and now I'm gonna be in this part of the breadcrumb trail. And what I would like to do is select all 24 of my pages to insert my illustrations. So at the top, I'm just gonna simply select first 24. And we'll see the interior pages now are selected. And from here, I'll click continue with 24 to 24 pages. All right, and now the last piece here is I have an option to pick my font. So right now it defaults to Open Sans, but I can look through different fonts and decide what I'd like to use. I'm gonna click on this Acme font, for example. I like that one. And the text size, I'm gonna leave it at default, but I could go smaller or larger. And for the text alignment, I could also go left or right or justify. I'm gonna leave it at center. I can even pick the text color, which is a nice feature. And from here, I'm gonna change this to Amazon KDP guidelines, and then I'm gonna click Submit. All right, and we can see here as I scroll down in my book, it's populating the 24 pages with beautiful illustrations and amazing looking text. If I click on any individual page, we can see it in a bit more detail. There's the text there, there's the picture. Now I can click on the picture and I can move it around, I could change it. So I could sub this out if I have a manual photo that I'd like to put in. I can also increase or decrease the font size. I have all the different options that BookBolt regularly provides me. So if you're not happy with something, you can always change it after the fact. And right here at the end, we've got our cat with a happy heart, smiley, curled up in the car, dreaming of future adventures, the night whispered softly. There's my last page of my children's book. So I'm happy with the way all of this looks. My 24 interior pages look great. Beautiful illustrations for a children's book. Now you do still need to make the cover. So you may want to take one of the images from the interior book. So for example, let's say I wanted to use this one as my cover page. I can simply control C to copy it. And then I can go up here to the top to my cover and I can go control V to paste it. And I could have this be my color illustration. Of course, you'd want to create a proper cover. I'm just using this as an example, but you'd have your proper text at the top. You'd color your cover and you'd have some text on the back as well. And when you're all done and you'd like to publish this book, you simply go here to download and then you can download the current project and that would be the cover and the interior pages. That will create a zip file with both your cover and your interior pages, which you can then upload to Amazon KDP. I hope you found this walkthrough helpful. The link to BookBolt is in the video description below. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link, and that just means if you click on the link and you purchase the BookBolt subscription, I would receive a small commission. I use BookBolt a lot to sell on Amazon KDP. Amazon's one of the leading marketplaces in the world for books, and using BookBolt, I can compete in many different niches. Here's another video on how you can have some fun using BookBolt.